I'm Kate, and I'm a nonprofit administrator. We were using Zoom meetings, but switched to Crowdcast for virtual events. For more reviews like this, click below. Both Zoom and Crowdcast help me connect with other people outside of our, our own spaces. Since we had to be remote this year, they both allowed me to have meetings or do events and make connections with people who weren't in the same room that I was. Crowdcast was great for our virtual live stream events. We were able to have internet interactive elements on the screen, collect donations right online, uh, and our audience didn't necessarily have to be on screen with us, which was actually probably good. It was a lot easier to manage and control with less people on screen. Zoom meetings have been just tremendously helpful in keeping our inner organizational groups working together. We've used it for board meetings, for staff meetings, for all kinds of meetings where we need to come together in one space and be collaborative and work together to solve problems. Both Zoom and Crowdcast were pretty easy to get set up and get started. Crowdcast had a lot of features we had to play with and explore. We did some test events to make sure everything was working. Zoom kind of worked right at the beginning, so we were ready to go on that one. But both were pretty easy to set up, and customer support was great on both. The things that we were looking for and considering when we were looking at this type of software was uh, ease of use for those who were logging in for our meetings and events, ease of use for us as administrators for setting them up, we were looking for different tools for interaction or collaboration. And then for Crowdcast specifically, we needed a paywall so our audience could pay to watch our live streams. And all of those things were available. And those were the items we were considering. <laughs>